YouTube, Gallagher12313 back with another video on the third generation Victor Reader Stream. In this video, I want to show you how to connect to Wi-Fi. Now, this is something I did cover in the unboxing video, but I thought it might be helpful to have a shorter tutorial slash demonstration of this for those who would find it helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so first things first, we wanna make sure that airplane mode is turned off. And the quickest way to do that is to go ahead and press and hold the online key just above the number two. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Airplane mode off. Okay, airplane mode is off. So now we can go into the menu with the seven key. Menu, modify login information. Now I'm sitting on one of the online bookshelves and this particular bookshelf does have a local menu to it. So we want to go to our global menu. So we're gonna press seven again. General settings. Okay, there we are on general settings. So we are now in the local menu and we wanna press six twice to get to wireless. Navigation and playback, wireless. Okay, there's wireless. We'll press the pound confirm key. Airplane mode off. And airplane mode is already off, although we could turn that off right here. But let's press six. Wi-Fi. Now, Wi-Fi is what we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and press confirm to go in here. Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi is turned on. So we're not connected, but it's turned on. And you could turn Wi-Fi on or off here. So if you did just want to use Bluetooth, for example, you could come into this menu and toggle Wi-Fi off. Status. Here we get our status. New connection. New connection, that's what we're looking for. But I'll just show you what else is here. Launch connection. You can launch a connection. Delete connection. Delete a connection. Import Wi-Fi configuration. Import configuration. Validate connection. You can validate the connection. Wi-Fi on. And we're back to Wi-Fi on. Let's go to new connection by pressing six. Status, new connection. And press confirm to go in here. Scan for SSID. And we want to scan for SSID, but let's see what's here. WPS connection. We can set up, if we need to, a WPS connection. Manually connect. Manually connect. Scan for SSID. Of course, the option we want is scan for SSID. So for our purposes right now, we don't need to worry about the other two options, but they are there. So let's press confirm on scan for SSID. Please wait. Okay, it's telling us to wait as it scans. Xfinity, CapX, CapX, okay, there's Cap an Xfinity Cap network. Cap let's Cap press Cap six. Charlene at five. Cap and C there H is our Wi-Fi network. Cap Cap Signal strength, excellent. Okay, that's good to hear. This is a five gigahertz network. And that's one of the changes with the third generation stream is that you can now connect to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So if that's what you have and you want to use that, you now can. So let's go ahead and press confirm to select this network. Scan, enter password. Okay, it's now asking us for the password. I'll go ahead and type that in and I'll be right back. Now, if you need to type a number, which I do in this case, you'll want to use the bookmark key, which is above number three. If we press that, uppercase, we could enter an uppercase character, numeric, or a numeric character. So I'm going to just go ahead and enter the last few parts of my password and I'll be right back. Okay, with my password now entered, I will go ahead and press confirm. Confirmed. Please wait. Connection successful. Wonderful. Enter nickname for this network. So it told us the connection was successful and it's now asking Wi-Fi connected. Okay, it's telling us again Wi-Fi connected. And now it's asking for a nickname. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this home. So I'm gonna press the four key twice to enter H. H. And I will enter O with three presses of the six. O. 
one press of six for M, M. two presses of three for E. e. And we can verify what we've typed by pressing fast forward, which is the bottom right. So it's the last key on the keypad. Home. H O M E. So we've typed in home. Let's press confirm. Confirmed. Connected to home. New connection. And we're back now with a successful connection. We're back in the Wi Fi menu. So we're back on new connection. So it is as simple as that to get connected to Wi-Fi. And then, of course, you're able to do a lot of cool things once you're on Wi-Fi, including downloading books from Bard and Bookshare and NFB Newsline and listening to internet radio stations and downloading podcasts. So being connected is a great thing, and it's quite straightforward. Now, if you do want to turn Wi-Fi on or off, I'll just back out so I can show you this again. Wi-Fi. So I'm pressing star key to back up. Wireless. Leaving menu one. At Braille Forum, February 1st, 2023. Okay, so I'm sitting on the bookshelf now. And if we want to turn Wi-Fi off, we'll go back into the global menu. So I'll press seven twice from where I am to do that. Menu. Modify. General settings. Okay, and press six twice to go to wireless. Navigation. Wireless. Press confirm. Airplane mode off. Press six to go over to Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Press confirm. Wi Fi on. And Wi Fi is on. We can turn this off though by pressing pound. Wi Fi off. And now Wi Fi is off. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Wi Fi on. And I'll give it time to reestablish the connection. My preferred way to do this is to leave Wi-Fi on and then just use airplane mode if I wish to disconnect from Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. So again, we can easily turn on airplane mode. Wi-Fi. Back out of here with star. Wireless. Leaving menu one. A and we can easily back out. First 2023. And we can easily turn off Wi-Fi by pressing and holding the online key above number two. So let's go ahead and do that. Airplane mode on. And it is as simple as that. That is a look at connecting to Wi-Fi on the third generation stream. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave them down below and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in an upcoming video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.